All right, here we are, a day of makeshift. Lila Studios, Von Lila's and Hustle, Hustle Riff Rogers are on the uh, on the road this evening. It's no Lila Studios. Oh no, I mean, but you're, but Lila's is here, so that's all that matters. Yeah, and, and what's he what's he doing right now? He's oh my god, look at that thing! Put that away, Riff. You get arrested here in this town. We, right now, when we first got here to the gym, you were on the phone with famous promoter Adam Parsons. And I tell you what, I was in the other side of the gym and I could hear you talking to him on the phone. So I expect you to kind of have that same voice here when we're running our show oh, okay. and not your, uh, your whisper voice, Rick. Just well, I was talking into the phone, which yeah. I had up here to we'll my talk, mouth. Talk Watch into this phone. It's like, it's like you were well, in that other phone. You're standing a long way from me. What the hell? Well, I'm I mean, doing leg extensions. What a, you can bring it over here and I'm fucking closer. Okay. You, you know, do now don't get on me because I said fuck or something. I wouldn't want to get us kicked off. You look like you're laying yeah. down here. Maybe I should. It's okay. Oh, shit. All right, so we're not going to spend a lot of time here tonight on, yeah, this, we are. on this show. What we're going to do, though, I want to get right to it, man. I tell you what. I watched AEW, your favorite show. Oh, it say. is my favorite show. Your favorite show. I watched it Wednesday night, the whole show from uh -huh. start to finish. Tell you the truth, I can't remember a, a whole lot about it. It was not near the blood and guts that I remember from the, from the previous two weeks. Uh, but I'll tell you kind of the buzz, the talks, not really about the show on Wednesday night, but Cody Rhodes. What is happening with Cody Rhodes? Is he gone from AEW? Do you believe that? Do you buy that? What What is the story, Rip? You got, I, I saw a tweet that you had saying you think it's all at work. Get, give me some info on this stuff. Well, hell, somebody else said that on Twitter. So you're I a copycat that, Twitter huh? person. So you just copied them. You stole I didn't their copy shit, them. I didn't steal their shit. Well, fuck, there, there ain't nothing in goddamn wrestling fucking original. Get real, you fucking Mark. Jesus fucking Christ. He tried to say, oh, no, he's kayfabing everybody. He's going to fucking stay there. Or, oh, he's leaving because uh, he's tired of it. Get guaranteed money, and who cares? I mean, in today's wrestling world, if you're in, it's the greatest thing in the fucking world. You hardly fucking work. You make a whole goddamn lot of money if you're under contract by WWE or or AEW or AEW and you hardly wrestle what once twice a week maybe what a goddamn goddamn rib you can't be any good because you don't fucking practice okay well, let's let's stick to the oh, what, yeah. what we're talking about here let's not get off on a tangent oh, about okay how, how good everybody's got it okay what what, <laughs> what about um let's say let, let's say it is let's say it is a work and yep. Cody's really going to be back to AEW what do you think of that angle? What That's do you think? fucking great. Yeah? Yeah. If he did this fucking say, I'm going to explore my other options, blah, 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 and burn out right now, whatever, he leaves. Then yeah. all of a sudden, he fucking, all of a sudden, you come in there, whatever your time frame is, six weeks, whatever, because you, lose, you use a star, lose a star of his magnitude, you, you're going to lose ratings. That's all there is to it. That'd be like fucking WWE and it's fucking heyday losing Hulk Hogan or, or NWA losing Ric Flair. It's quite a comparison, right? Uh, well, I mean, if you're the top of any promotion, a big promotion is just a small promotion with more exposure. I mean, the matches ain't, it, it, you know, that's the way it fucking is and that's the way it's always been. You could be the goddamn main event in Pensacola, Florida, or fucking Salem, Oregon, all of a sudden you get a, a job with Vince and all of a sudden you're headlining goddamn WrestleMania because he said so. That's the way it fucking is. Because... You know, uh, it's like Hulk Hogan, <laughs> when he started, he started in the Pensacola Territory. So let, let, let's say Cody come, mm -hmm. comes back, doesn't really go to the WWE, comes right. back. As a heel. Is he going to come back as a heel then? Of course like he's, he's going to come back as a heel. So all this backstage tension he's supposedly having. That's great. That could be all a... That's a hell of a fucking angle. Right. That could be a hell of a fucking work, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They've been planting the seeds over how long, about... He's uh, a little bit different now. He didn't talk to his buddies as much anymore. The pressure of running the fucking thing, this and that. And uh, you got to remember the guys put in those positions really don't have any experience in it. You know, it's uh, I seen this or whatever. That's like uh, when guys become bookers in territories. They used to, when they used to have the territories, you might work ten territories and you get a booking job. Cody was brought in on. Uh, uh, WWE and never and never been anywhere else, so he basically only knows that style, where you got to know a whole lot of different styles, so you're a little bit different. 
Not saying it's right or wrong, but this is the wrestling world we live in today. So he's actually went on TV saying that he won't turn heel. So he actually uses the, you know, the wrestling terminology that he won't turn heel. So you he said if he comes back, he'll he'll be a heel. Now the fans were basically booing him out of every building. What 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 are the fans going to do if he comes back to AEW to stick it to AEW and all the all these? First, he'll probably be cheered. Correct. Yeah. Because all the all the fans that think they're over because they're fucking smart. Oh yeah, they know the business. They watch it on TV once or twice a week. Follow me over here to the chess machine. <laughs> So that little break for back rip. Now uh, working out the chest, got the big peck deck going on here. Peck deck, I said rip. Don't get excited. Peck I know deck. it ain't the peck deck. This is a goddamn whatever chest machine. Chest deck. machine. Peck right. deck's over there. What, what's the difference? Push, pull across. Oh. Okay. Huh. You were just testing my. I know. Anyway, back to Cody, right? Cody, baby, he's on fire. He's okay. got us talking. I mean, mm -hmm. we we actually talked about this off the record at Mexican yes. tonight. Yes. That's we how excited did. we are. Because it's... This is really pure excitement. This is real excitement, I is. think. We're not even, uh, we're not even being sarcastic. We're yeah, not... it, it is. It's, a, it's, if nobody knew about it and he showed up, holy shit, look at this. Yeah, with that being said, like, you, you're the one that tweeted. You're the first person I've seen mention this whole thing's at work. I saw you tweet that out. I actually saw a couple of people reply and basically said you were a, a goof for, for saying that. But okay. man, if you if you hit this one right, which I think I this didn't hit it right. Somebody else said right. something. We talked yeah. about Dave Meltzer being in on it. Oh yeah, well, yeah. You got, you got the inside info, man. Lila Studios. I tell you what, that's why Rip is a part of Lila Studios. He has inside information about the guy that is Mr. Inside Information, that's Dave right. Meltzer. That makes you Mr. Inside Information. Two, maybe? I don't know what you are, but... Uh, 27 and a half. 20, 27 and a half. <laughs> You're right up there. I tell you, I think it'll be I think it'll be awesome if it happens. Let's say it doesn't happen. You, you think there's a chance that Cody Rhodes really goes to WWE? If Vince McMahon offers me an absurd amount of money with a relaxed fucking schedule, take the money and goddamn fucking run. Maybe yeah, I asked that question wrong. You think Vince would really take Cody Rhodes back? Vince is going to take anybody that he, that he can make money with. Get real, it's a business. Okay. It's a fucking business. All the people they fired, they let go of, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It was the highest quarter they've ever made a profit, wasn't it? You know, it's pretty wild to hear you say it because Cody, again, getting booed out of every building at AEW, now you're saying would be a moneymaker for WWE. That's not what I said. Well, you said he... I, I said if Vince if, McMahon offers him enough money... No, 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 no. I said would Vince hire him? And you said, well, yeah, get real. If you can make money with him, yeah, yes. sure. Well, Vince right. can make money with him as the AEW whipping boy if he wants, right? He can do... Remember what he did to fucking Dusty? Put him in polka dots, uh, teamed him with uh, the the valet. Yeah. What was her name? I don't know. But she weighed... She was heavy, but yeah. I, don't, I, I better not say that she was... I'll be body shaming, so I, God, you can't say anything in this goddamn world. What a fucking rib. But so what if, about if Vince brought him back as, like, a star? With the, with the fans, what do you think? I mean... They've already seen his act for how many years? Well, it's, it's star, and how many it's different, Stardust or whatever. What if he they've comes seen in, his act. You don't think he'd come in as a, well, a you, top guy? Well, what, if Vince says you're a top guy, you're a top, top guy. We'll take him and shove him down your throat for goddamn five years every fucking week. And you'll buy it. You'll believe it. There's new young people watching wrestling, and there's new old people watching wrestling, too. So you can do anything with the power of television. I think as long as he leaves Brandy, no matter where he goes, leaves Brandy at home, I'll be intrigued with the storyline. I don't really give two shits about her. And, and uh, she kind of bothers me a little bit, but... Well, then, now, if she was a heel, then that's what she's supposed to do, right? Yeah, but if she's different. your baby face, ew. Well, <laughs> just because you got a job, that just means you got a job because somebody says you got a job. So it has nothing to do with, with talent, good, bad, or whatever. I don't know if you know this, but I'm thinking where Cody really got his really career boost. Do you have any idea where he, where I think he probably got the biggest boost in his career. We talked about it at, at the Mexican restaurant tonight. When he had all, when he was all those different characters? No, no, no. Before that. Back to Oh, well, oh when he hadn't worked with the steel man. No, 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 no. Before that, pro well, probably after that. Once the Indiana. Oh, well, you teamed it. Did you beat him? I, I, he was my partner. Oh, he was, well, he, he in G-Force, custodian. 
That's oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, you was over. So, so he once, got the, once Cody, you gave teamed, him the rub. Yeah, once Cody teamed with me and G Force. Yeah. In Muncie, Indiana. I mean, his career since then has skyrocketed. Well, just working with you probably gave him the confidence to excel even more. And with and working with the janitor, he said, "Well, I don't custodian, want, right? Custodian. I don't know what's. God damn, you can't call anything, anything, whatever. Fuck everything. Get to speak up, Rip. Oh, fuck everything." <laughs> G Force is pretty good, though. Oh, and, they, uh, they took, were one of the greatest ever. He was the greatest custodial wrestler I've ever seen, for sure. Only, but greatest. Greatest. So, we, well, hell, then, what, what would that do to Lila Studios? Well, we'd still let me look at us now. I mean, we're on the road right now. We got a big show coming up tomorrow night. Look at us. Yeah, we're still we, we do. And then fucking nothing can stop Lila sub- Studios. Subscribers are coming, are going out the fucking ass. We're at twenty-seven. 27. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah. Hell, we still, uh, one day we had, what, was it four? Yeah, we were, yeah, we were looking for five. So we're at 27 now. So this thing's really exploding, really taking off. Mm hmm. Well, you know, run the path to greatness. Wasn't, yeah. You know, Pat McAfee's got a couple, couple million. We like know. it. Yep. We're almost the there. The professor's got three million on the, the basketball player. You know, he's got three million and we got 27. So we're well, almost there. We would have 28, but. You know, you won't subscribe. Tell the people why you won't subscribe to your own channel, Rip. I don't understand all that fucking shit. They wanted personal information about something. Something pops up, and then you said, "What did you say? I didn't have a YouTube, whatever it's called, anyway." Or you didn't what? have a Google account. I, oh, what the fuck is a Google account? <laughs> what the fuck? What if it comes down to we need one more subscriber to hit our? Whatever mark we need to hit. Are you going to be able to figure out how to subscribe? Yeah, I'll tell you to create another bogus account and then <laughs> you could sign, have the king do the king number two or something like that. How many of our 27 subscribers do you think are legit? Four. Still four. <laughs> uh, Dylan Bostic subscribed twice tonight. Well, he had one under the kayfabe name, right? Yeah. We don't put the heat on him though, so we'll, we'll just, uh, Edit out the one, or act like you didn't hear it, or, or hopefully whatever. YouTube's not listening. To yes, this. And, or Google, they, they or whatever. Catch, they catch on to our tricks. Yeah, all the all the fucking tricks. They don't get any fucking better than that. But anyway, if Cody, when Cody leaves AEW, if he leaves the show, the show is going to automatically go down. You think that's so? Like, yeah, that's like it. What if what if Hogan was when he was the leader? I'm just not sure Cody's Hogan. Why I know what you're saying. I mean, right now they got CM Punk, they got Brian Danielson, they got. Whoever else. Cody's been on every TV show since they started, right? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. That answers it, don't it? Yeah. If he was, let's just say it's a number. Between the two numbers, he was under 100 weeks. We went on last week and they dropped from like 1.7 million to 800 and oh, okay. something thousand. So, so look at the importance of him not being on there. You think it's a direct correlation? Yeah. Uh, what happens, uh, especially with diehard wrestling fans that love wrestling? If this is your favorite guy, whether you love him or hate him, and he leaves, you go on strike for about three weeks usually. But three weeks is a lot of fucking people that don't turn it on, isn't it? Yeah. And if he leaves, somebody else has got to get elevated. And he's been elevated for basically two years. They've been in business, I think, something like that. So he's been getting that push and that shove and being looked upon as the top guy, the guy that's doing a lot of dangerous shit. And the guy that would do the do he would fucking lose when he thought he should lose, so he was doing his best best to do that. Oh, and you gotta remember on booing and stuff, everybody loves you until you start doing better than them. 